Good morning, Hot Room Yogis. Highlight of my last week has been getting all of the great emails from you guys in response to the fusion and uh, the music class. So thank you, thank you, thank you. I know it you know, takes all 2.2 seconds for you guys to shoot me a line, but it's just really great hearing from all of you personally. It's a highlight, so thank you. Um, I thought I would do the full 60 minute hot room fusion flow. Uh, I figure a lot of us with the rain yesterday and the rain may be coming tomorrow and Easter and, you know, a lot of us still indoors. Hopefully today you'll get outside, move around a little bit, but at your leisure uh, for you today, full 60 minute hot room fusion flow. Yogi's Choice on the playlist, whatever uh, is going to make you feel good, go for it. I'll give you lots of alignment cue if you want to do it without the music. That's totally awesome too. All right, let's start in child's pose. Bring your big toes to touch. Take your knees wide, as wide as you can, so that you can maintain um, the integrity of the child's pose. We're gonna be here a couple minutes. So I'm just gonna kind of come into the space, uh, get comfortable, familiar, orientated on our mat. So um, take the knees as wide as you can, um, so that you can actually hold into the sensation of the pose without having to move around or adjust too much. So big toes touch, knees wide, hips onto the heels, start to extend the Crown of the head down towards the ground. Drop your chest and your breastbone. Spread your fingers wide. Press the fingers and the palm pads into the mat. You can activate triceps and biceps. Get a stretch into the serratus muscle underneath the armpit by lifting shoulders up and then starting to walk fingers forward. So the elbows will lift off the mat. The wrist will lift off the mat, but the palms, the fingertip pads are still pressing into the ground. And then drop the muscles of your neck. So the weight of the head is heavy. With the third eye center pressing onto the ground, we massage into the pineal pituitary gland. Inhale through the nose. Slow exhale to empty. Inhale. Exhale to empty. It's a slow, steady stream of breath. Because we don't have the heat today, you can call upon an ujjayi breath. As you inhale through the nose. Slow exhale to empty. One more inhale. Fill your lungs, hold at the top, lungs full. Mouth open, exhale, slide out. Ah. Bring your hands back towards your ears, slowly bring your chest up, and then very slowly take your time, bring your knees in, and then push into your first downward facing dog. Tuck your toes under, heels extend down towards the mat, you're going to drop the crown of the head down towards the ground as you pull the belly up and into the spine line and take the curve out of the whole spine all three parts trying to straighten and stretch as you squeeze shoulder blades scapula behind your back look at one spot on the floor in between your big toes continue your breath inhale and slow exhale to empty with your mouth closed. And keep working 
contraction of the quadricep muscle, heels dropping down. The more you extend the heels down, the more stretch the sensation you're going to feel on the back side of the legs into the calf muscles and the hamstrings. See if you can pull belly in, press chest, breastbone down, drop your heels and come one inch closer, heels and crown of the head toward your mat. Release. Slowly walk your hands back to meet your feet. Your feet stay hip width distance apart. Shift the weight into the balls of the feet so that the hips over the knees, right on top of the ankles. And then ragdoll pose as you drop your head. Take the bone of the elbows into the palm of each hand. Let the neck muscles soften and relax. So the weight of the head will stretch the whole spine down towards the ground. So you don't have to do a lot here to get a good stretch. Just look one spot, maybe towards the back wall and between the legs, the calf muscles. Keep sucking your stomach in. Sometimes in the ragdoll, we're in our forward fold. The belly goes loose. Pull it back in tight to the spine. Work to straighten out your legs. Engage the quadricep muscles. Forward fold, just a little bit deeper. And then we'll come back to the neck. The muscles of the neck, the head, the jawline, soften and relax, and just let it hang. And release, slowly hands to the floor. Toe heel your feet together to touch, roll up one vertebra at a time. You're in standing position, samasti tihi, arms are by your side. Half moon pose, inhale, arms up. Cross your thumbs, release your index fingers. Let's take steeple mudra today. You're gonna to inhale, stretch up, and exhale, push. A little bit, hips to the left, upper body to the right. In this variation, the shoulders stretching up with the ears. Squeeze the elbows tight, lift your chin up. You want a straight line from the hip all the way through the fingertip. No bend in elbows. Trying really hard not to bend the knees and squeeze your inner thighs. Whereas you push right hip over the left ankle, you traction left arm up and over by pulling with the right hand. Squeeze the palms together. From the pubic bone to the belly button, suck your stomach in and shift the weight back into the heels. Squeeze inner thighs again. Squeeze your glutes, squeeze belly. You'll calm down, and at the very last little bit of exertion of energy, you push and then you hold still. You try not to move, and release. Inhale, brings you back up. Exhale through your nose, take an inhale. Stretch up, fill your lungs. Exhale, the hips will go a little bit to the right. Straight away, I want you to press the right heel down. Press the right heel down, and then shift back into the heels. From there, squeeze inner thighs, belly, hips, glutes, and then left hip pushes a little bit right side too. From the right hip all the way out, extending past the fingertips, you feel a deep stretch in between each and every vertebra. Chin up, come down, and you just hold still now. Maximum exertion, breathing normal, and release. Come back to center. You're going to cactus your arms, spread your fingers wide, drop your head, let it hang heavy. Take an inhale, stretch up. Exhale, drop back into the heels, hips forward, press the palms up towards the ceiling, squeeze your shoulder blade scapula behind your back, and go for it, drop back one more time, and release, inhale, arms up overhead, exhale, hands through heart center, forward fold, inhale, halfway lift, Chaturanga, plant your hands, flow through your vinyasa. 
high to low. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a breath. Inhale through the nose. And a slow exhale to empty. We're going to do three sun salutation A's. The first one will go through slow so we can look at the alignment. You're going to lift your heels high. You'll bend your knees. When you bend your knees, bend your knees. We want a spring action. So bend your knees, pull the belly in, and then jump forward. Big toes, heels touch. Inhale to lift. Pull the belly in. Shift the weight into the balls of your feet. Lift your kneecaps. Fingertips line up with the toes, palms parallel to the back wall. Chin away from chest. You want a straight line across the spine. Exhale, forward fold. Forehead to the knees. Weight stays into the balls of the feet. Belly is still pulled in. And then root down, rise up. All the way up to mountain pose. Pull the shoulders down. Spread your fingers wide. It's a soft rotation of the pinky fingers in, chin away from chest. Weight into the heels. Exhale, hands through heart center with the flat back. Weight into the balls of the feet, spine straight. Inhale, halfway lift, plant your hands. High plank, from high plank. Shoulders over elbows over wrists, spine is straight. Pull the belly tight to the spine. Squeeze inner thighs, quadriceps. Maybe get more onto the balls of the feet or for some um, of you at home, you guys will have weight onto the big toes. From high, you squeeze elbows in, shift forward and lower halfway down to low. Keep the elbows squeezing in tight to the side body so the shoulders never go below the elbows. Tuck toes under, pull shoulders down away from the ears. Look up towards the ceiling as you stretch your abdominal muscle, the abdominal wall, all the abdominal organs. And exhale, tuck toes under. We're back in downward facing dog. Take a breath and reset. Inhale through the nose. Slow exhale to empty. We're gonna do two more. We'll flow through uh, vinyasa style, one breath to one movement. Lift your heels high, bend your knees, float. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise up, mountain. Exhale, hands through heart center, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, chaturanga, flow high, low. Inhale, up. Exhale, downward facing dog. Lift your heels high, bend your knees, float. Inhale to lift. Exhale, fold. Rise up, mountain. Exhale, hands to heart center, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, chaturanga, flow high, shift low. Inhale, up. Exhale, downward facing dog, take a breath and reset. Inhale through the nose. Slow exhale to empty. Inhale. Slow exhale to empty. Inhale, open mouth, exhale, ha. The sun salutation B will go through the first one slow and then we'll follow it with two. Two in vinyasa time. Lift your heels high, bend your knees, float. Inhale, exhale, bow. Rise up mountain, exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, go back, high to low. Inhale, up. Exhale, downward facing dog. Lift your right leg up, step forward, warrior one. You're gonna plant your front foot at 12 o'clock. Two heels in a straight line. Point your back foot toes at about 10. Shoulders down away from the ears. Spread your fingers wide. Create a deep, deep, Deep lunge in the right leg. All right, so the left leg is solid. Left hip's coming around a little forward towards the front mirror. Pull the shoulders down. And as you sit, take one 
one spot forward. Your drishti with the eyes in focus, yogis in concentration. Inhale through the nose. Slow exhale to empty. And release. Plant your hands. You'll turn the back foot, spin it back so you're on the ball of the foot, and then you step back. High plank. Elbows in low. Inhale. Upward facing dog. Exhale. Downward facing dog. Lift your heels high. Left leg up. Step forward. Warrior one. It's a soft land of the left foot. Knee stack right on top of the ankle bone. Back foot. Point your toes maybe at two. Two o'clock on our imaginary wall. As you bend your left knee, sit low into your lunge. The back of the left thigh parallel to the floor. Spread your fingers wide. Slight rotation of the pinky fingers in as you pull the shoulders down away from your ears. Bend your left knee, sit lower into your lunge. The right leg is lifted. Quad squeezing muscle to bone, inner thighs, hug in. Sit lower one more time, a little bit lower. Hold, breathe still, Krishti, and release. Plant your hands, back foot, heel, spins, you're on the ball of the foot, and then you step back high, to low plank. Inhale, up, exhale, downward facing dog. We'll do two more, vinyasa time, one breath to one movement. Lift your heels high, bend your knees, jump step, float. Inhale to lift. Exhale, bow. Rise up, mountain. Exhale, hands to heart center, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Plant your hands, flow. High to low. Inhale, up. Exhale, downward facing dog. Lift your heels high. Right leg up, step forward. One. Chaturanga, plant your hands, flow. High, low. Inhale, up. Exhale, downward facing dog, lift your heels high, step forward, warrior one. Chaturanga, plant your hands low, high to low. Inhale, up, exhale, downward facing dog, lift your heels, inhale, right leg up, Virabhadrasana one. Chaturanga, Dandasana flow, yogis high, upward. Downward, lift your heels, inhale, left leg up, step forward, Virabhadrasana, one. Chaturanga Dandasana, flow. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Downward facing dog, take a breath, inhale. Mouth closed, slow exhale to empty. Inhale. Slow, exhale to empty. One more, inhale. Open mouth, exhale, ha. We'll start to link. Few of the postures. We'll do the first time through slow, and then we'll flow it. Lift your heels high. Inhale, right leg up, step forward, warrior one. Open up two. Spread your fingers wide. Looking over the right shoulder, the back of the right thigh parallel to the floor. Left hip drop is down. Two heels in a straight line. Left hip opening to the left side of the room. Push gently right knee back, stack it over the ankle. And spread wide across the shoulder blade scapula. Trikonasana vinyasa style. Straighten the right leg. Bring your right hand palm behind the calf muscle if it's available. Arms are straight up and down. Spread your fingers wide. Left hip extending up towards the ceiling. Right leg is straight. You're going to feel a good stretch on the back side of the right leg. Turn and twist your chest up. Look up. And reverse your warrior. Bend your right knee. 
Reach with the right fingertips towards the wall behind you. As the left fingertips wiggle past the knee down towards the ankle bone. Look up, just up. Bend your right knee, sit a little lower. And release, plant your hands, float the vinyasa high to low. Inhale, up, exhale, downward facing dog. Lift your heels high, inhale, left leg up. Step forward, warrior one. Open up, two. When we transition from warrior one to warrior two, the placement of the hip, the orientation of the hip, it changes. In warrior one, hips are working forward towards the wall in front of us. And when we open up to two, the right hip rolls back and then drop it down. So your two hip bones parallel to the right side of the room. Look over your left shoulders. Bend your knees, sit lower. Trikonasana, straighten the left leg. And bring your left hand palm behind the calf muscle. You want a long line on the left side body rib cage. So the crown of the head, you're stretching, lengthening. If you're not collapsed, you want to lift left ribs away from the left thigh as you turn and twist your chest up. Look up towards the ceiling. Reverse your warrior. Bend your left knee. Stay low in the lunge. Right fingertips past your knee down towards the ankle bone. As you drop your head, reach with your left fingertips towards the wall behind you. Bend your knees. Sit a little bit deeper. And release. Plant your hands. Flow through the nyasa. High to low. Inhale. Up. Exhale. Downward facing dog. We're going to do it again. And we'll flow it. One breath to one movement. Lift your heels high. Inhale, right leg up. Step forward, warrior one. Open up, two. Two, go nasana. Reverse. Chaturanga dandasana. Flow, yogis high. Inhale, up. Exhale. Downward facing dog, lift your heels, inhale, left leg up, step forward, warrior one. Open up, two, two, go nasana. Reverse. Chaturanga dandasana, flow, through vinyasana, high, low, inhale, up, exhale, downward facing dog, take a breath and reset. Inhale through your nose. Slow exhale to empty. Inhale. Slow exhale, empty. Inhale. Open mouth, exhale. Ah. Leave your hands where they are. Walk your feet up to meet your hands. Second set of ragdoll. Pull the belly in, shift the weight into the balls of the feet. And then Yogi's choice in second set, you've got options. You can interlace your fingers behind your back, close the palms and the wrist straight and the elbows drop the head. You can interlace your fingers maybe behind your neck. Use a little bit of pressure to pull the crown of the head down, the belly a little closer to the thighs. You can grab behind your knees, opposite elbows, pull the shoulders up. All sorts of options. Okay, and release very slowly. Hands to the floor to heel your feet together to touch. Roll up. Standing position, Samasti. Tihi. Move your toe, balancing. Balancing. So good. Grounding, balancing. Shantita Hasta Parangustasana. We'll take your left hand, bring it to your left hip. Pick one spot with your eyes. This is really important where your eyes are focused and concentrated on. Helps tremendously with the balance. If the eyes are darting around the room, you're gonna have a hard time staying still. You'll have a tendency to wobble and fall out. So pick a spot with your eyes. Focus on that spot. Peace fingers, the right hand. 
Grab in between the big and the pointed toe. And come to the standing leg and find the weight forward into the big toe ball of the foot. Inhale through the nose, stretch the spine up, and exhale slowly to empty. This is pretty good. You can stay here, working contraction of the left quadricep muscle, weight into the ball of the foot with balance and eyes focus. This is a good first step. If you need a little more, inhale, and then exhale, kick, heel forward. When you kick, keep working right hip down, and use the big toe grip to pull all five toes back towards your face. Keep your eyes steady, you can open up right leg, heel goes wide, left hand up, and if you're feeling adventurous, you can look over your left thumb, and twist. Reverse out of the posture, keep your right leg up, warrior three. So you're gonna drop your right hip down, extend, arms forward, flex the toes of the right foot towards your face, work to bring your abdomen chest parallel to the floor. Belly continues to pull tight. This is really important using abdominal muscle to find our center strength and then standing splits. So bring your fingertips down, spider fingers in line with the toes. Keep your right hip dropping down. So instead of rolling right hip up and open, drop right hip down towards the ground. You can point your toes, start to bring the crown of the head down towards top of the foot, chest onto the thigh, forehead to the shin. And release slowly. Right foot meets the left foot. And we'll roll up one vertebra at a time. Samasti, Tihi, standing at attention. Head back above the heart. Take a moment, catch your breath. Inhale through the nose. Slow exhale to empty. Second side, right hand, right hip, peace fingers without rounding the spine. See if you can bend your left knee and from the ball and socket, bring the left knee up, catch your foot. You're still looking one spot. A tremendous amount of concentration required. Equal parts, concentration, strength, and flexibility. Find the weight into the ball of the right foot. Squeeze the right quadricep muscle tight to the bone. Think about the muscles squeezing around the bone. Left hip, drop it down. Stretch the crown of the head up, pull the shoulders down. Lengthen the spine. You can stay here. This is good. Today, maybe this is enough. But if you're feeling swanky, inhale through the nose. Exhale, kick, heel forward. When you kick the heel forward, drop the left hip down. Come back to the ball of the right foot, roll forward, and as you kick the heel towards the wall in front of you, I want you to use the peace finger grip to pull the toes back towards your face. The left arm is locked. The left leg is locked. There's no bend. Inhale, open up, heel, arm. You can take your eyes over the right fingertips. Unwind, keep your left leg up, bend it, and straight back into warrior three. Hands, palms parallel to the shoulders. Spread your fingers wide, reach forward towards the wall in front of you. Drop left hip down as you spiral, left inner thigh up towards the ceiling. Drop your chest down, lift your leg up. Standing splits, spider fingers in line with the toes. Left hip, drop it down. Scissor the legs wide as you start to pull the belly to the thigh. Crown of the head stretches down towards the top of the foot. Suck your stomach in. Inhale. Slow exhale to empty. And release. Slowly bring your left foot to meet your right foot. Roll up. Samasti. Tihi. 
arms by your side, standing at attention. Inhale through the nose. Slow exhale to empty. Inhale. Exhale to empty. Eagle pose. We'll do the, let's do the vinyasa variation today. We'll inhale, arms up. You can take your right arm and your right leg at the same time. Test your balance <laughs> at the same time if you can. Up and over. Keep the spine straight. Palms together and lift your elbows up. You want to pull your forearms away from the face. Pull the belly in. So that the shoulders from the side view are stacked right on top of the hips. Squeeze inner thighs. And when you come deeper into your pose, bend the knee. Keep the spine straight. Belly in. Sit down one more inch. Very slowly, inhale, arms up. Left arm swings underneath. Elbows up, forms forward, inhale. Exhale, sit low. Inhale, lift, left leg up and over. Squeeze your inner thighs. Shoulders over hips. So keep leaning upper body back a little bit. And as you lean the upper body back, I want you to push your hips forward. Then stretch the crown of the head up as you bend your knees. Sit a little deeper and release. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, arms down. Take a breath, inhale. Slow exhale to empty. Dancer's pose. Bring over your right arm out. Grab at your foot all the way up at the toes. And then inhale, left arm up. Spread your fingers wide, palm parallel, right side of the room, inhale. Exhale, reach up and kick. So imagine you're pointing your fingertips at a spot way above your third eye center. And trying to touch the spot with your fingertips. And as you reach up, you kick up from the right shoulder. It'll soften and pull towards the back wall. Standing leg is pretty straight. And release the kick to bring you out. Left elbow comes out as you grab up at the toes. Keep the knees squeezing together. Inhale, right arm up. Spread your fingers wide. Inhale. Exhale, reach up and kick. Reach up, kick. And eventually, your fingertips and your toes will be the same height of the floor. Chest stays lifted. And release, slowly kick to come out. Inhale through the nose. Slow exhale to empty. You're gonna quarter turn one side of your mat. Separate leg stretching. Uh, we'll take an arm variation. Normally in class, when we get all the way down, you have an option for headstand. I don't know about headstand on this concrete. We'll see <laughs> when I get down there. But uh, if headstand's calling to you, you'll have some time to take it. Otherwise, we'll do a twist. Inhale, arms. Right leg steps pretty wide. Your toes are forward or slightly turned in. Release your fingers behind your back. Pull the shoulder heads back and then squeeze your shoulder blade scapula behind your back. Inhale to stretch up. Exhale with the straight spine. Start to come down into your forward fold. As you come down with a flat back, palms are together. There's no gap between your wrists. Your elbows are straight. You're gonna come all the way down with the weight into the forward part of the foot. So there's not a lot of pressure on your heels. Inhale. Exhale. Stretch the crown of the head down towards the ground. You can release your hands to the floor now. Inhale, halfway lift. Take your right hand, grab the outside of the left ankle bone, pull the belly in, and turn and twist up. Go up. Shift the weight forward. Stretch left fingertips up towards the ceiling. You can pull in or you can pull away to create length. Both work. 
Maybe do one of each and release. Come back to the center line. Inhale, halfway lift. Left hand grab outside of the right ankle bone. Right arm come up. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale, twist. You can pull belly in towards the thighs to twist. Or you can pull crown of the head towards the wall in front of you. Either way, weight into the balls of the feet. Work the corkscrew in the spine as you twist chest up. And release. We're going to stay low to the ground. Inhale, halfway lift. Pick up your toes and pivot and face the front of the room. Front foot straight ahead. Back foot, toes point straight ahead too, but your feet are hip width distance apart for our pyramid pose. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale to fold, belly onto the thigh. You can take your hands forward in front of the big toe to help you stretch the spine. And if this is really easy and you're not feeling a lot, take your hands behind you, spread your fingers wide and walk your fingers towards the back foot toes. Really slowly inhale, halfway lift. Stay low to the ground, pivot to the center, pivot to the back. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen the spine. Exhale, forward fold, chest onto the thigh. You can walk your hands forward. Maybe you walk your hands back. Palms face down, fingers towards the wall behind you, stretch your fingers towards the foot. Release. Inhale, halfway lift. Stay low to the ground. Hands to the hips. Come all the way up. Right foot to meet the left foot. And arms are down by your side. And just catch your breath here. Inhale through the nose. Slow exhale to empty. Tree pose. First the vinyasa variation, then the Bikram variation, and then we'll move into Bikram toe. All right, so shift the weight. The left leg is solid. Your right foot comes up. You want the heel all the way up, as high as you can get it to the inside of the crotch pubic bone, and then you're going to press the right foot against the contracted left inner thigh bicep. You'll bring your hands to heart center, elbows out. Pull the shoulders down. Stretch the spine up, and then drop your right hip down. Sometimes it's higher than the left hip. Drop it down. Keep pushing right foot against left thigh, and then gently push right knee back. Tadasana, take your left hand, grab your right foot, heel all the way up. Two hands, heart center, this variation, elbows in, shoulders down. Continuing stretching, lengthening the spine. And tadasana. Weight into the ball of the left foot, come down with the flat back. Press right knee down and back, no matter where you're at, whether you're still up in tree, working to open up the hip crease. You lift your heel, bend your knee, sit down, heel over the glutes, spine straight. Two knees in a line. Before you have to worry about taking your hands off the floor, you can keep the fingertips on the floor for balance. Before you take the fingertips off the floor, the shoulders should be over the hips, spine straight. And really slowly come up. And your right leg comes down. Right leg contracts, weight into the ball of the foot. Left heel comes up. Two hands. Oh, tree, Rikshasana. Left foot, inner thigh bicep. Gently push left knee down and back. Press the sole of the left foot against the inner right thigh. Left hip, drop it down. And then bring your hands up, elbows out. Pull the shoulders down. And stretch. Inhale through the nose. Slow exhale to empty. Tadasana, right hand, 
grab the left foot. Left knee gently down and back. Shoulders pull down away from the ears. Elbows in, thumbs in between the chest, the breastbone. Stretch the spine. Padangustasana, spine straight, come down. Press the left ankle into the contracted right quadricep. Hands on the floor, lift your heel. Bend your knee. Walk your hands back. Shoulders over hips, spine straight. Pick a spot with your eyes. Try not to move around too much with the eyeballs. And release. So they come up. Hands stay at heart center. Inhale, arms up overhead. Exhale, hands to heart center. Forward fold with the flat back. Inhale, halfway lift. Plant your hands. High plank. From high plank, you'll take your time and you'll slowly lower down all the way onto your belly. Bring your left ear to the floor and relax. Do two sets of our backward bends on the floor. The first set will be the Bikram variation. Second set will be a Vinyasa variation. It's Yogi's choice. You want to do two sets of Bikram, you want to do two sets of the Vinyasa. Whatever feels good for you today, take it. Cobra. Chin forward. Two legs into one. Fingertips line up the tops of the shoulders. Roll your shoulders down. Exhale, do your nose and on an inhale. Start to come up. Pull the ribs up, away from the floor. Push your belly button down. Chin pulls up. As you look up, drop the shoulders down. Squeeze elbow tips tight to the side body. Squeeze your glutes. Squeeze your knees. Squeeze your ankle bones. Come up one more inch and release slowly. Chest, chin, arms, right ear down. Variation, chin forward. Take your feet hip width distance apart. Spread your fingers wide. Walk your fingers back so that the middle finger lines up with the middle of the, um, the breastbone. Exhale through your nose and on an inhale, push up. Drop your head. Push the belly down towards the ground. You should pull the shoulders down away from your ears. Create a big foot side stretch, big back side compression. Look up, chest up, and release. Slowly come down, left ear to the mat, relax. Salabhasana, chin forward, lift your hips, bring your arms underneath your body. Exhale through your nose, and on an inhale, come up. Press the palms down, shift the weight forward. Shoulders down towards the ground, right leg is solid, point your toes towards the back wall and release, right leg down, exhale. Inhale, lift, left leg up, Put the left hip down, press the palms into the mat and release. So we lower mouth down to the third part, two legs become one. Exhale through your nose and on an inhale, come up. Slowly lower down. Release the hand palms, right ear down.
second variation. Today we're going to do, think, let's bring, yeah, let's go left hand. Let's go left hand palm forward. So take left hand, stretch it forward towards the wall in front of you. You're going to bend your right knee, exhale, then on an inhale, kick out. Pull the right shoulder back, away from your ear. Lift the chest up. And release. Right hand stretch forward. Bend your left knee, catch your foot, exhale. Chest up and kick. Look forward. I want you to feel a pinch in the opposite side of the kicked leg ribs. So behind the right side, the ribs, a little pinch is what you're working for. And release, something over now. And relax. Kona Salabasana, chin forward, two legs into one. Exhale through your nose, and on an inhale, come up. Arms come up, legs come up, chest comes up. Fingertips line up at the top of the head. Come up one more inch and really slowly lower down. Second variation, you're going to bring your chin forward, feet hip width distance apart, tuck your toes under. Take your hands back to a 45 degree angle, so your fingertips are pointed to the back left and right hand corner of the room. Exhale through your nose and on an inhale, come up. Arms up, legs up, chest up. Keep flexing toes towards your nose. Squeeze inner thighs, come up one more rib, and release, slowly lower. Dhanurasana, chin forward, bend your knees, grab your feet, pinkies at the base of the toes, thumbs are with your pointer fingers, exhale through your nose, and on an inhale, look up and start to kick. Pull the shoulders back by kicking, squeeze your glutes, keep knees in, not wider than the hips, squeeze knees in, kick. Shoulders pull back, kick. Come up one more rib, kick. And release, slowly lower down. Second variation, chin forward, bend your knees, grab your ankles, and point your toes. Pull the shoulders up and back. You're gonna keep your eyes forward, one spot in front of you instead of looking up for this variation. Exhale through your nose and on an inhale. Look forward and kick. Squeeze the knees in. Squeeze your glutes. Shoulders peel back. Kick. And release slowly over down. Shift forward, you slowly push up. Reclined heroes. We're gonna bring our knees hip width distance apart in this variation. And sit the hips down on the floor in between the heels. Toes point straight back. So a little bit of space, two fists in between the knees. You'll bring your, um, your hands to your feet. In this variation, we're gonna keep the spine straight. So we'll just go back. Down with a straight spine, shoulders relax down away from the ears, the palms face up. Inhaling through the nose, and slow exhaling to empty. Sometimes we're in a big rush to get all the way down. There's no rush, 
allow for the opening in the ankle, the knee, the quad, the hip flexor. Get down, great. Get down, great. It's no big deal. Some of you are going to bring your hands to your feet. You're going to tuck the elbows under and you're going to push straight into Keanu pose. Everybody else, take your time. Unwind onto the top of your space. Yeah. And place six inches between your knees. You can take any arm variation to get into your camel pose. Usually the hands on the back is nice for support. Inhale, stretch up. And exhale slowly. On the exhale, start your back with bend. Travel your eyes across the ceiling. Pick one spot on the wall behind you. No rush. If you can grab your heels, great. If you can't, great. No problem. Push a little bit your belly button up towards the ceiling. Think about a big stretch across the whole front side body. All the muscle, all the organs, heart, chakras. One more breath. Inhale. Exhale, and release very slowly, come out, you'll turn around, and you'll lay down on your back, Savasana. Straight into our breath, inhale. Slow exhale to empty. Legs up the wall. Bring your palms down. Squeeze your inner thighs, your knees, and your ankle bones. And then from your core, come up. Leg straight. You want your ankles over your knees, over your hips. Do you want your tailbone down? I want you to feel the whole spine flat to the floor. So if you need to roll the butt cheeks down a little bit to feel that lower portion of the spine connect with the earth and then from the pubic bone to the belly button suck your stomach in as you pull all ten toes back towards your nose. Inhale. Slow exhale to empty. Now you can stay in legs up the wall. For most people this is pretty good. If you're looking for the next layer from legs up the wall, we would push up into shoulder stand. I'm going to show you really quick. Sometimes shoulder stand, um, we need the hands on the low back. It's like a kickstand almost, right? So um, if you need to use the hands on the low back, it's no problem. You would just pull up and then bring your hands to the low spine for support. But maybe you don't need the hands. Maybe you can just keep your palms flat to the floor and push up. Shoulders over knees, over hips. Squeeze the glutes. Trying to get your ankle bones to disappear. Push your fingers down as you press your heels towards the wall in front of you. Plow pose, keep your legs straight, hips over shoulders. And come into plow. From plow, deaf man, you'll bend your knees Knees towards the ears. Knees will eventually touch the floor. Hips over shoulders. Hands on the floor. Palms flat. And at the very end, if you want to play around with it, you can bring your hands overhead. Grab your feet and pull. Knees into the ears.
going to reverse out the way that we went in. So from deaf man, plow pose. From plow pose, shoulder stand. And from shoulder, bring your knees to the forehead and roll down one vertebra at a time. All the way down. Palms face up. Heels touch. Inhale through the nose. Slow exhale to empty. Happy baby. Bend your knees. Take your peace finger grip. Grab in between your big and your pointer toe. Elbow bones to the inside of the knees. Pull with your peace finger grip the toes back towards your shoulders. Drop the tailbone down. Sometimes the hips are way off the floor in the air. Pull the tailbone down. Pull your whole spine flat. With one spot, relax the shoulders down away from your ears. Inhale through the nose. Slow exhale to empty. slowly. Savasana. Flex your feet. Inhale, arms up. Sit up, double exhale. <coughs> lotus pose. So for those of you unfamiliar with the lotus pose, nothing to be nervous about. You've already done step one of lotus um, when we did our tree tree or tadasana posture. So you can bring your left leg out, straight line, back of the heel flat to the floor, no turn out on the toes. Straight leg, right? Straight line. Take your left hand up, grab your right foot, bring your right knee in, bend your knee, and bring your heel all the way up to the top of the thigh. You're going to have your right knee high because the hip is tight. So it's no problem. Just notice that. And staying here sometimes is good. This is plenty. This is tree on the floor. That's all this is. You're not having to balance. You can work the opening in the right hip crease. We need a tremendous amount of um, mobility in the hips to get into the lotus posture. And then from lotus, we have a bunch of postures that we can do in lotus. But first, we'll practice the lotus and get you comfortable with that. Um, so you can stay here or uh, lean forward. Try not to lean back. Take your right hand and scoop up your left foot. So now you've got two... Um, two knees in a line, two knees pressing down, shoulders over hips, spine straight. And you just hang out here. Sometimes um, the left foot, the right foot, they're slipping down and in. It can feel like we're burning on the inner thighs. Um, just notice that. And with the lotus, I would tell you, take your time. You don't need to force or jam something into place to try to get into it. Just practice slowly, mindfully, especially without the heat. Um, maybe go a little slower. The lotus, spine, twisting, but we'll transition to the floor. Reset the spine with the savasana. Really slowly come out and relax. For an easy twist, uh, take your right hand, right hand, grab your left knee, roll onto your right side body. Left shoulder stays anchored down. Stretch with your palm down, the fingers of the left hand towards the left side of the room, but go over your left shoulder as you twist. Inhale, exhale, twist. And release. Come back through the center line. Take your left hand. Grab the outside of your right knee. Roll onto your left side. And then look over your right shoulder with the palm facing down. The right shoulder anchored down is important. Try to keep your right shoulder down. 
Look over your shoulder and as you walk your right fingertips away from your shoulder, you can use your hand palm to put a little pressure to get the right knee closer to the ground. And release. Final Shavasana. Palms face up. You can take your legs wide, you can take your arms wide. Just want you to soften and relax. A couple of breaths here. Inhale through the nose. Slow exhale to empty. Thank you for practicing with me today. Happy Easter, everybody. We'll see you very soon back in the hot room with the heat. Oh my gosh, I can't even wait. Namaste.